What is up guys, Rick Kakis here, and holy crap, do we have a ton of new Destiny news and information to go over today. Now that's because just now, at the PlayStation Experience, Bungie officially announced the next live event, which we previously referred to as Sparrow Racing 2016. We knew Sparrow Racing was coming back into Destiny, and we knew it was hitting the game sometime in December, but now we got an official new trailer announcing everything, giving us a ton of new information, and the best part is, it's so much more than just Sparrow Racing, so let's get right into it. First things first, it's no longer called Sparrow Racing 2016, it's now actually referred to as The Dawning, and as you can see here, it's coming December 13th, very soon actually, and ending January 3rd. Now December 13th, that is exactly when the new Iron Banner coming December 6th ends. So next week we have Iron Banner and as soon as that ends, like the day it ends, we also have the dawning hitting Destiny. Now first things first, we're going to go over all of the new information coming with this live update, but the first piece of information is of course Spare Racing is back. Again, we kind of knew this is a formality, but they said, you know, Spare Racing is back. They showed off that it has new tracks. Hopefully this time it'll be more than two tracks. If you can remember back in 2015 for Sparrow Racing, there was only two Sparrow Racing tracks. And that was really unfortunate. Even though a lot of people really enjoyed Sparrow Racing, having only two tracks to race on really didn't help for replayability. But this time, it definitely just looks, for appearances sake, like there's more than two tracks. And I really hope that they have some new tracks and bring back the old tracks. Just more variety is going to be great. They also showed off some new Sparrows, of course, which goes hand in hand with the Sparrow Racing events. But... Moving on, we have a ton of new information about new things other than Sparrow Racing that is coming with this The Dawning live event. Also, it's important to note that The Dawning says, you know, December 13th to January 3rd. That end date of January 3rd really only refers to some of the limited time sections of this live event, like Sparrow Racing and the more festive microtransactions. The overall broad changes are not going to disappear as we're going to get into in a sec. And one of those overall broad changes is actually strike scoring. Yes. Scoring, just like in the Challenge of the Elders, is coming to Vanguard Strikes. This is actually really interesting. So now when you go and play a strike and you kill a shank, it's going to say, you know, enemy killed plus 50. And when you get a pentakill with your hammers or something, it's going to give you score for your exploits in strikes. So that's actually really interesting. Firstly, it's just going to add a new section to the end game. Of course, people are going to be competing and seeing how high they can go in strikes. Like, what's the highest possible score you can get on the Shield Brothers or on Omnigal, you know? And that's going to be pretty cool. Like, it's going to give just one more PvE goal for, like, end game players to try to reach for, try to get on the world leaderboards for strikes. And that was really all that was kind of shown, is that, hey, we have strike scoring coming with the dawning. I hope that they do some interesting things with this. I hope that you can actually earn a variable amount of Vanguard rep based on your score. Like, if you get 5,000, you know, this is a hypothetical number, but if you get 5,000, you get, you know, 120 Vanguard score, but if you get, you know, 10,000 or if you get, you know, 7,000 or something, you get 150, and you can get more Vanguard rep based on your score in that strike. Now, that would be really, really cool. I think that would be a great way to introduce strike scoring. If not, it's kind of, again, just reaching for those leaderboards, but still, it's better than no strike scoring, in my opinion. On top of this, we also have, and now this is what's really exciting for me, new weapons and gear. Thank 
goodness. This is what, like, saved the April update. This is what saved Destiny because of the April update. Introducing new things to loot for is, like, why people play Destiny. Thank goodness this is coming into the game. And we can see some of those new additions now. Firstly, we have what looks like a Void Thunderlord and a Fire Thunderlord. Now this is really interesting because I remember making a video way back in the day before the April update saying that it looks like based on the symbols of the guns we were getting a void and a fire Thunderlord and we actually saw a picture of what looked like a fire version of a Thunderlord way back before the Taken King. It really seems like Bungie kind of shows off certain things in trailers and then we don't actually get those things until like years later but that's beside the point. Those are going to be two neat additions and presumably they will be exotic or at least they kind of look exotic and also we get coming back the icebreaker oh my god as a year one player whoo holy shit the icebreaker is back this thing oh my goodness the icebreaker like guys when you if you're a year one player you know the crazy thing is people think oh galahorn 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 yeah it's so amazing whatever but back in the day before the Ruin Wings ever impacted my life for the better, but back in the day, you'd actually have to choose between do I want to use the Icebreaker or the Galahorn? And you didn't always pick the Galahorn. That is how good the Icebreaker is. That is how amazing the Icebreaker it is. It has insane potential, an extremely powerful snipe rifle that has constant recharging ammunition. Great for strikes, absolutely fantastic for boss fights, and I cannot wait for this thing to come back into Destiny. I cannot wait to take the Icebreaker in to the Wrath of the Machine raid. I'm going to be so psyched to do that. Additionally, the trailer did show off that it's coming with some new ornaments. You see it change from the natural appearance of the Icebreaker to a white version of the Icebreaker. So it's coming with some ornaments as well, which is, you know, fine. However, again, not only are we getting new weapons, but we're also getting new gear. And we get a look at some of that gear here. Uh, you know, we see one of the new Thunderlords, we see an Icebreaker, and we see a Thorn with an ornament. And then we see, again, a little look at some of the new gear. And then this picture here showing off some of the new uh, Warlock armor, that actually looks fantastic. That, that looks really cool. So I'm excited for the new armor coming with this live event as well. Just another, again, thing to grind for. Just more stuff is always great for Destiny. Now moving on, the trailer also announced new quests. Now this is pretty cool. We don't know the extent of these quests. The new quest could simply be, hey, go talk to Holiday uh, or the Shipwright or whatever and get started on Sparrow Racing. Like, they could be pretty minor quests, but they could also be pretty big quests. You might actually have to go and unlock some of the new exotics, some of the new weapons we saw, perhaps the Icebreaker even via an exotic quest just like how you got the year three thorn the year three icebreaker may also be attainable through an actual exotic quest we don't know that yet but again they say new quests which again more stuff to do is always good so i can't knock them for that now actually one more addition that seems to be coming with the dawning is a new strike added to the strike playlist. Now that's because it looks like the Nexus strike on Venus is finally being remade. This is kind of like a blink and you'll miss it part of the trailer, but this tiny screenshot here that lasts for like less than a second is on the Nexus strike. I recognize this area, you know, you don't play three years of destiny or coming up on three years of destiny and not recognize every single part of every single map within destiny but yeah i recognize this as a section of the nexus strike and you can see down in the bottom right hand corner uh, we have the vanguard scoring that you know that now indicates that this is a strike it's added in you know with the new scoring system of the strikes and obviously you have score popping up when you're punching that guy too so that's really interesting the nexus is being added it's being remade as a new strike with the dawning so that's great and actually that begs the question new strike exclusive loot right every time we've gotten a new strike 
Like when the Winter's Run Strike was updated for the April update, we got Strike exclusive loot. So that's actually pretty cool. We are getting a remade Strike, or it looks here like we are for sure getting a remade Strike. And again, that means that we're probably getting new Strike exclusive loot for that Strike. So that is pretty cool. However, continuing on with what was shown in the trailer officially, it was then announced that we're getting new treasures and then it showed the Eververse store. Ooh. So, we all know that the Festival of the Lost 2016 really didn't go that well. You know, people berated it, rightfully so, for being extremely microtransactions focused. Like, all it was was just cool new stuff that was hidden behind a paywall. A lot of people, you know, almost everyone, was not thrilled by that live event. You know, and I would say the same thing about this one. I'm not super thrilled that they're saying, hey, new treasures, come get your hands on new things that you can earn. Completely RNG. Not super thrilled about that. But, you know, this was shown at the end of the trailer and everything else in the beginning of the trailer looked good. You know, we have new Sparrow Racing, some new interesting new maps, new Sparrows. Then we've got, you know, Strike Scoring. We've got what seems to be a completely remade Strike. We have new weapons and new armor so that stuff is all coming first and that stuff is not going to be hidden behind a paywall hopefully so then if you announce hey you can also get some cool looking you know heads for your guardian and stuff that is not that upsetting i just really hope they don't go too far this time because i think you know they certainly did go too far last time with festival of the lost so as long as they keep it fair, I'm totally okay with, yeah, some new microtransactionable items. I'm sure there's going to be some new emotes, some new stuff. I'm sure some sort of random treasure you can get randomized loot um, from Eververse. But again, not thrilled about that, but as long as they're adding all this other stuff, I'm not that upset about it either. And at the very end of the trailer, they flashed a bunch of stuff talking about the new additions. Uh, we saw new challenges, new shaders new emblems, and new bragging rights. So, new challenges and then new bragging rights. I don't even know what that means. Like, what does new bragging rights mean, right? Like, I don't know what that means. I think that's just the marketing team saying we need one more thing to pop up there. But new emblems, new shaders, collectors will love that. I'm sure there's going to be some shaders exclusive to uh, the holiday season and that will go away when this live event goes away uh, just like how there was exclusive shaders that came with the festival of the lost actually funny enough going after those exclusive shaders like getting the shader out of the strike cord chest and stuff like that the super black shader that was actually the best part of that live event like going after those shaders so new shaders and new emblems is is great it's just going to give collectors more things to go for and so guys, that is really going to cover all of the new Destiny information that came out today and all of the new things coming with the addition of The Dawning, again from December 13th to January 3rd. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it informative, and if you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. And if you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That's linked in the description down below as is my Twitch channel, which you can also follow. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.